some technical difficulties there. Good morning and welcome back to Acorn Homestead. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. It's the 10th of September. It's 17 degrees, it's 9.30 in the morning, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it was a rough night last night. The people down the lane that way were partying, and at 2 in the morning, the dog was in the house and decided to bark her head off. So between yelling at her and the cats waking up and everything, I'm a little tired today. But... Um, I thought I would get started on, well, not get started, I already started it, but I thought I would do some more on the roundabout bottom thing for the chicken coop. Um, that way, both the chickens will get to stay in, and the um, chips, the mulch, will stay in as well. So this is what I've done so far, is... Well, you saw what I did. I've done an entire round of one level, and I've done this as well. I did that the other day. Um, some of these boards are really nice. And this one here that you saw me not choose, it's because it's nice and wide at the bottom there, but it tapers off too quickly here, and I'd have to put a third board in anyways. So I'm just going to leave... I'll leave that space there for a th uh, one board, one of the bigger ones. I've... That one there might actually work. Um, it's pretty solid. Um, for the most part, uh, I'm sure you're wondering why I put it this side out. Um, because the grass is eventually going to grow up beside it. And I want something sort of smooth for to cut against. The other side, I think, will look better and it'll rot and it'll be a little bit more protected when it's in, when there's a lot of... Um, chips in and the chickens are running around in there. Um, I think it's going to work. Um, unfortunately, I also think that this is too small for the five that are in here. Well, it's okay for the five that are in here, but I have ten more coming. So I think I'm going to have to build another one. The problem is, I'm not really sure where. I was thinking over in the corner of... I know it's kind of hard to see because it's pretty overgrown still. But holidays are coming. I was thinking over in that corner there would be a nice one. Except there's a bit of a burn there. And 
it, right on the road. So I'm not 100% sure of where to put the other one. This will get cleared out. I, I know it's it's a little daunting. Well, it's a little daunting for me. But um, yeah, it'll get cleared out. I'm on holidays next. Not next. Well, next week I have part holidays. And then the week after I'm off all week. So um, I plan. That's my plan. I don't know if it'll get done. But I'm pretty sure it'll get done. So, so far that's what I've got. Um, yesterday I... Just on a side note, yesterday I made steak and potatoes and beets for dinner for me and one of my coworkers. And the beets and potatoes obviously came from this. <laughs> potatoes over there and beets in there. So, and there's more beets growing over there. So, um, I really need to get this cleaned out so that it's more usable space. Because I think, I don't know whether I will make this like... A sitting garden and just like enjoying the nature kind of garden or if I'll make it the um, vegetable garden. I like that I've got a few things in here but for the most part I think that the larger picture is going to be out here. Um, I had a friend of mine that helped me um, get all this leveled off and get it started and stuff. I had him come the other day and he cut three swaths, if you can call it that, through my field. And I'll have to say that that is a ridiculous amount of grass. Like, it's insane. So, it doesn't look that tall, but when you step on it, it squishes down quite far. So it's probably the guts of two and a half feet tall. This here is deep. It's very deep. It, also, the ground goes a bit like this. So this is where my polytunnel is going to go. That's why I got him to cut it. Um, I think what I'll do now that it's cut is um, I'm going to lift some of it on that edge. A big piece I'm going to put down some black plastic and maybe some cardboard or something and just let let the grass rot back into the ground and uh, hopefully over the winter or maybe sooner if I can um, I'll get started on the polytunnel I'm still quite amazed at the fact that I'm getting stuff done like I just I think sometimes I'm all talk and no action but this is this is how I want to be, so this is what it is um, working out to be, and uh, I'm I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about that. So um, that's all for now. I'm gonna carry on today and see how far I get, and uh, I'll give you an update video in a day or two. I hope you have a great Sunday. Enjoy your week. Bye now.